All right, Jonathan and Vanessa, we are, we're going to do social media check-in. All right, our first one comes from Simone Yarrow on YouTube saying, can I file an extreme hardship waiver if I'm here in the U.S. on a K-1 visa? Yeah. Okay, amen19 on Instagram. If I am married to a U.S. citizen and I'm in removal proceedings for overstaying on my visa, is there any way I can still get a green card? Uh, you can get a green card if you can show that you've been here for more than 10 years and it would be a hardship to your children, spouse, or parent. Extreme and unusual, it's all cancellation or removal. You can get a green card if you can show you're eligible for your green card today. That's usually because you're married to a U.S. citizen. Uh, you can get a green card if your life is in danger, if you go home, and that would be either political asylum, convention against torture, withholding of removal. Those are your th main avenues to try to get a green card. Next one comes from Dadu from YouTube saying, can a green card be revoked if the person with the affidavit declines to continue supporting it? Yes, if you, if, if, a green, if you have a green card, the person can't take it away. If you, they can't, you can, in other words, if you have a green card, your sponsor, whether it was your spouse or your parent, can say, I'm going to withdraw my affidavit support. I'm going to get you deported. Too late, too bad. You're done. The, the U.S. citizen has no right to deport you. If you haven't gotten your green card yet and they withdraw, then you don't get a green card and you're back to square one. Okay, the next one comes from Charlotte Muzo on YouTube, and they asked, my friend applied for an extension but was denied. She has since applied for a student visa, which is still processing. If she gets married to her boyfriend, is that the best way for her to get a green card? Not sure. I'm assuming the boyfriend is a U.S. citizen. Yes. Uh, yes, but just make sure you don't get married and file within 90 days of filing for an extension on, I think I heard an extension for a student visa because then that would be a misrepresentation. But yeah, getting married in a bona fide marriage is generally a really good way to get a green card. Okay, sweet dot on YouTube saying, once I've officially become a citizen, is it a crime if I fail to report the update to the NVC? Update of what? Uh, report the update to it's the National a, Visa Center. It's not a crime. Center. It's not a crime, but you, you, your, your family member may be entering the United States on the wrong visa category and could be denied for misrepresentation. Okay, another one from Instagram. After an I-130 interview, will I receive approval by mail? Yes. If you pay. Hey, love, love. Okay, love, love on YouTube. Say, can I be denied a, a green card if I file taxes as single instead of jointly, even though I'm married to a U.S. citizen? Uh, that would be, that would go a long way to getting you denied because you have to show a joint financial relationship. And if you're in the United States and you're filing a single you're committing t uh, uh, misrepresentation on your tax returns or you're lying to the government that you're not in a bona fide marriage to your spouse, that could be a big problem. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.